Hey everyone, it's Nathan Firth with serviceportal.io and in this video, we'll be taking a quick look at how to create a sidebar menu widget for Employee Center. I've also packaged it up into an update set that I've made available for download. As usual, if you find this video useful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get started. So first off, I wanted to take a quick look at what a full featured sidebar menu can look like in Employee Center. In this version, I've configured the menu to expand on hover. You can also navigate across multiple tiers of menus. And it works beautifully on mobile, complete with support for mobile gestures as well. But in this video, we'll be keeping it simple, as this implementation goes well above and beyond what I can walk through in a tutorial. All right, let's take a look at what a basic implementation of the sidebar menu can look like. It uses a fixed header and sidebar while allowing the content to scroll as expected. It also supports pages where you have a container that has been moved into the header like the breadcrumbs and search widgets. And now, if we take a look on mobile, you can open the sidebar via the hamburger icon. You can close the menu as well by clicking the veil or by navigating to another page. Keep in mind, I try to keep it as simple as possible to demonstrate the concept, but this is far from a complete solution. So now let's take a look at what's needed to make this all work. In the update set, we have a portal record, a theme, the header widget, and a sidebar widget, as well as some of the theme CSS. Let's start by looking at the header. The only thing we really need to do in here is to embed the sidebar widget. Now, if we look at the sidebar widget, we have some minimal CSS to handle the open and close animations, the scrolling of the menu, as well as the veil that shows on mobile. Because the menu configuration can support multiple tiers as well as a scripted menu, I chose to just include a static menu to keep it simple. But you may eventually want to embed a separate widget to render the menu in here. And now, if we look at the theme, we have two simple SAS variables for controlling the width and the background color. And then, in the CSS include, you can see the styles that update the container width and make room for the sidebar menu on the left. And there you have it, a simple and concise implementation of a sidebar widget for Employee Center. The update set is available for download and contains everything covered in this tutorial. And until next time, I'm Nathan Firth, and thanks for watching.